What can trees teach us about living well? In Hermann Hesse's book, Trees, Reflections, and Poems, the German writer wrote about how trees teach us key truths about living authentically and finding belonging. Here are my top inspiring excerpts and my interpretations of what we can learn from the wisdom of trees. For me, trees have always been the most penetrating preachers. I revere them when they live in tribes, in families, in forests and groves, and even more I revere them when they stand alone. Trees have the remarkable ability to exist and thrive in communities and forests, but also can stand in solitude. They teach us the importance of bringing your authentic self when in the company of others, and during periods of solitude, to learn to be self-reliant and trust in your own abilities to be independent. In their highest bows, the world rustles. Their roots rest in infinity, but they do not lose themselves there. They struggle with all the force of their lives for one thing only, to fulfill themselves according to their own laws, to build up their own form, to represent themselves. Trees are literally grounded in their own roots, and as a result, their actions are constant and persistent, despite the constant struggles of life. Trees are steadfast in their goals to bring their full self to the world, despite the adversities they encounter. Like trees, understanding our own roots and what grounds us is essential to be persistent in our goals and to live our lives to the fullest, despite what life throws us. When a tree is cut down and reveals its naked death wound to the sun, one can read its whole history in the luminous inscribed disc of its trunk. In the rings of its ears, it scars all the struggle, all the suffering, all the sickness, all the happiness and prosperity stand truly written. The narrow years and the luxurious years, the attacks withstood, the storms endured. Trees leave behind their life's legacy through the rings of their trunk. They ask us to think about what we will leave behind as we approach the end of our own lives. Did we struggle well and persist through adversities? Did we lead a meaningful life? The rings of our own impact on others will be left behind in those that will keep us in their memories. When we are stricken and cannot bear our lives any longer, then a tree has something to say to us. Be still, be still, look at me. Life is not easy, life is not difficult. When the chaos of life is spinning around us, trees remind us to be still and to slow down. Take time to process what's going around you and to respond to, our, to your challenges calmly instead of reacting automatically. Home is neither here nor there. Home is within you or home is nowhere at all. For those who are seeking belonging somewhere or in someone, we should first seek belonging from ourselves because that is where home is. No matter where you go, you'll be at home because it's wherever you are. So build a beautiful and accepting home for yourself within yourself. For whoever has learned how to listen to trees no longer wants to be a tree. He wants to be nothing except what he is. That is home. That is happiness.